I was with my homeboy Joe Witt. You know, we texted about it uh, this weekend, and I was just asking about you. And he said he had to do a presentation when he was in Green Bay where he graded the wide receivers on the team. Yeah. And this was, Jordy was still there, and mm -hmm. he was like, Devontae's the best receiver, and here's why. Yeah. Uh, and obviously, it ends up being right. But he said, no, I don't know if this is true, but I'm a, he said that y'all were at Micah Hyde's wedding, mm -hmm. right? And they're having a conversation. This is when Julio was balling, AB was balling. They were talking about the best receivers and all those things. Right. And that you said, if y'all were on a clip by clip or something, mm -hmm. that if you had to throw one football, and if that football wasn't caught, they were gonna throw us off this cliff, they better throw it to me. You know what I mean? And so like, when I hear that, that type of confidence, I think you can't help but when you combine that with hard work, end up being where you are. A lot of what's been attributed to, not a lot of, but some of what's been attributed to your success was the quarterback you got to play with mm -hmm. your entire life or your entire career. And now you leave and you said, I'm going from one Hall of Famer to another. But what was that experience like being with somebody as talented, obviously a future first ballot Hall of Famer in Aaron Rodgers? It was amazing, man. I mean, you know, I don't I don't discount anything, you know, that, that Aaron was able to do for me because I mean he's he's the best quarterback, you know, in my opinion, to play this game. I think a lot of what he did for me was not just about the type of balls or whatever that he threw, you know, great back shoulder, whatever. Like there was obviously that, but the the way that he he had the Michael Jordan effect as far as like he going he gonna make you play better. He going he gonna bring out your best just by being on the field. It's not even about like like he was a great leader, but it was it was more so just about I'm out here with Aaron Rodgers. Like you would always notice in OTAs, like, you know, every now and then a, a guy that's in his what, fifteenth year at that point or whatever, they get days off in OTAs, so it'd be times where he wasn't practicing and you would just notice people start to like not not fall off, not not practicing hard, but it wasn't the same as when Aaron is out there. Like he he like you don't even think about it. You know what I'm saying? It's like somebody doing something versus versus like with nobody watching them type thing. You know, you obviously gonna run a little harder. Your coach watching you, so it was kind of that type of effect. And he he made me a better player out of that because the consistency came from that. And then um, yeah, I just try to build on that. And and like I said, obviously the football and the arm strength and stuff was a, was a big part of it, but. But yeah, he, he made me a better player just by his presence. October 2nd, 2014, you scored your first NFL touchdown. Mm -hmm. In the same time, that was Aaron's uh, 200 yeah. TD uh, pass. Mm -hmm. Who kept the ball? Who got the ball? <laughs> he let me keep that one. For sure. He let me keep that did one. Did he sign it? He did. I, didn't, I don't even think I asked him to sign it, for real. I just, <laughs> I just wanted to keep it. I don't, I don't yeah. know. But he, uh, yeah, he let me have that one. So I made sure I, I gave him the 400. Because I guess 100, James Jones threw into the crowd. Right. 200, he gave to me, so he didn't have any one of those. And 300, I don't remember who got it, but then four, I was remember being on the left side, caught one, went a stiff arm dude, and then went straight to him, presented it to him and everything, just because I remember about the, you know, that, that number 200 that he let me keep.